the home of the Tigers since 2000. Comerica Park here in the Motor City. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Texas Rangers and the Detroit Tigers. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport, Corey Seager. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway, and today's starting pitcher, Matt Manning. What do we have on him? Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and Leading avoid that big inning. Texas. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, Marcus. hand this off to the Simeon. bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. Marcus ah. Simeon leading things off and takes a strike. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Oh, Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. The pitch. One Not ball. even close two there. Three. Now 1 and 2. Just oh, misses can. the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. That one misses, and that's ball three. The wind and the pitch. Pop up here, third base side. Baez in position. Makes the catch. And there's one down. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And, Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Next offering is in for a strike. I think it was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. That one a little bit high, and it's two and one. One out, base is empty. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And down on strikes, two away. That is third. So now the DH spot, Evan Carter. Carter. That Ball. one missed. Ball one, no strike. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Aye. And that's in for a strike. A one-two one count, ball. all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Misses inside. The count now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Pitch misses there. Three and two down. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. 
on a line base hit. And that extends the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage that counts where batting averages are right just so much higher. A that pretty much split the zone down the Goal middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. One -oh. And now, Adolis Garcia. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. That two misses, one. and that's ball two. And that one is inside. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. That one clips the outside corner. Full count Three, now. 3-2, two. Two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Got him looking for the K. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. One hit, one left. And now the Tigers get their first opportunity. No score. Back here with my pal Siggy on the hill here today, Jake Latz. There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match. But I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. Bottom of the first. Here's Riley Green. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them Next every in, day. Ball two. Next pitch inside. Ball two. Line to left. And now maybe extra bases. And it gets by him. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Mark Canna. First oh pitch misses. No outs, runner over at third. Swings through that one for strike one. One ball, one strike. Misses inside. Two balls and a strike. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. This one belted. Deep left field. On its way. Gone! A towering shot. His second home run of the series. And that's how they take the lead. It's 2-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there. No doubt about it. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. 
There's a strike at the knees. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next yep, pitch is outside. Out. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And next is the designated hitter, Kerry Carpenter. And first offering is fouled off. Miss and that's strike two. Okay, Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball. Oh, and the slider nice. just misses. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. And oh. another ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Still only one out here in the inning. One down, base is empty. And they'll do it again. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. The 2 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here's the 2 2. And he grounds one to the right side. And he takes He's it out. himself for the out. Batting fifth. The second Let's take a look at our lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. Left hand batter waits. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there nope. on the mound. That's See if he continues to climb the ladder. Hit hard on the ground is short. Sends it to Walsh. Play made, that ends the inning. Detroit adds two on this homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game.
New inning getting started. Now, here is Josh Smith. Number eight. Josh. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And the right hander back to work. That nope. one close, the rule the ball. Ball one. Smith throws right, bats left. Hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he was a second round pick back in 2019. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He was all over that one. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Next to hit, Wyatt Lankford. And there's a ball. And the 1 0. Eight. Late with the swing there. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Eight. On the inside corner for a strike. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based? on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to her strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to her strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Jonah Heim stands in now, looks at that one inside. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And a pitch. Swing it a foul straight back. The Tigers up by two here at the top of the second. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they trail by one. Well done, drives in the run. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. That one at the knees for a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. Gets a piece and stays alive. Righty to the plate. And that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's Leody Tavares. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs, and one in scoring position. And the pitch. Off the mark there. It's a ball and two strikes. Oh. 
to third. Oh, great stop. Fires to first. Pretty nice play there. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the veteran third baseman, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. The pitch. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Hauls it in after a long run. And there's one down. Batting seven. The right fielder. Wenzel. And next to hit for Detroit, Go Wenzel down. Perez. A switch hitter batting right. Misses outside, and that's ball one. Come on, Detroit, let's go. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. Garcia settles under it. Hauls it in for the out. Two down. Batting eight. The shortstop. The batter down, Javier Baez. Baez. This is on the ground to Walsh. Takes it himself. Oh. What a play. Inning over. Nothing doing here this half. We play two full. It's the Tigers two and the Rangers one. Top half of the Reading third inning. Protection. Here's the second baseman, the second Marcus, baseman. Simeon. Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon. The to kick the pitch. That oh, misses. One and oh. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best That's news yet for this offense. Two balls, no strikes. The wind to kick the 2 0. Hey. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ground ball right side. And foul ball. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Two two now. Simeon waits. Fights it off. He'll see another. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two-two now. That one just misses. Swing and a bouncer. Baez fires the first on the run, and Simeon is out. The batter, the shortstop, Seeger stands in now, struck out looking at his first at bat. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but ball. there's on base and slugging too. Count one and oh. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then 
if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. That's a little bit low. Next pitch is outside. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Swings and misses. And now it's three and two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. One down. Evan Carter digs in now. One for one with a single so far. Swings through that one out in front that time. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. And the right-hander deals. Well, and that's outside. And one and one. No, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Hey. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fights that one away, still one and two. And another ball. Tying run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. In the air, out towards right center. Canna gets under it. Brings it in. Out. Number two. Now that right here, Adolis Garcia. So here's the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. His first at bat was a strikeout. Pitch ball misses one. there, and ball that one, is no ball play. one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Outside, and now two and nothing. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Oh, good solid contact right there just a bit out in front of that fastball got to try to stay on that backside just a little bit longer and Whoa, see if you can that. do some damage Josh Smith in the on deck circle for Texas two outs fouls one away and now three and two Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Righty delivers. Three. Got him. That's the third out. One left for Texas, and our score remains 2-1. As we go to the last of the third. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Jake Rogers. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. And he deals. Swinging a foul straight back. Kicks and deals. That one, one not close. Two one and two to Cal. Here comes a pinch. Bows it off. Still one and two.
the pitch. And that skips in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. The pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Now battle. The left fielder. Riley. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Green. Here's the left fielder, Riley Green. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. Just missed. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And a foul ball. two strikes still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound he's already thrown 13 pitches they've got him working hard out there and here it comes and hey, that one hey. missing low you could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch but just a little tardy on the fastball Three, two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now the number two now hitter, Mark Canna. He's already Mark. homered in this game. Canna. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Lankford settles underneath it. Makes the catch for the out. Two down. The batter, the first baseman, Spencer. So two down now, and here is Spencer Torkelson. Struck out swinging his first time. And ball one. Step off throw to first, and he's back standing. And now the lefty. And oh, another ball. Back. Strike yeah. one. Two balls, one strike. Two and one now. That Whoa, one is upstairs. Man. Next offering is in for a strike. Helpful. And down on strikes he goes. That's the inning. So one hit is all they get. Three innings complete. It's the Tigers two and the Rangers one.
back here in Detroit. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Josh Smith. Manning back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Tarek Skubal getting ready to go. Foley getting cranked up as well. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. Makes these at bats more difficult than they normally would be Whoa. against other pitchers at this stage of the game. The two on. In the air, right field. Paris moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now the batter now. Wyatt Langford. He's 0 for 1. And there's a foul ball. The Tigers up by a run. Top half of inning number four. That's the third. Throw is low, and he can't no, pick it. The battle. The captain. Jordan. Oh. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim, doubled his first time up. Misses inside, and that's ball one. There goes the runner. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Save. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the back, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Now battle. The first baseman. Jared Wall. Stepping in, Jared Walsh. Went down on strikes his first time through. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full oh, speed. Man. Runner at second, two down. The next oh, pitch one. misses and a count even one and one. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's just foul. Man on second, two down. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Hits and misses, it's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back at Comerica ready Park, Four ready to go, bottom four. The and now the DH, Kerry Carpenter. Carpenter. The pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled.
In the air, right center. This is Nash. Way back and gone. A massive home run. His second homer of this series. It's 3-1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Singy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that Far, and it's absolutely crazy it's even that many such an impressive swing of the bat right there and up next for Detroit Colt Keith and first offering is fouled off well these Tigers doing a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them it's not just the three runs they've already scored on top ball, of that they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game Wouldn't Whoa, chase that there. time. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Pulls that one foul. That's towards center. Tavares settles under it. He's there. He's got it. One away. The third baseman, number 13. Gio Urshela to the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Gets the call. Strike one. Big stock center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And next up for the Tigers, Wenzel Perez. Nice. Just winging a miss. 0-1. Kicks and fires. Foul ball there. And the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And the pitch. That misses the zone. And the count is one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level. Have him look up. <laughs> now go back exactly where you want to go. In the dirt. Here's a 2 2. Bows it back with two strikes. Two two now. Got him looking. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at-bat to watch. 
Javi Baez digs in right side. All right, grounder into the outfield for a nod. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now at the plate, Jake Rogers. Right through there for a strike. Two on, two outs. Just oh, missed. Two ball. In the dirt, blocked. But no advance from the runners. Two outs. And another ball. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Back to work. 3-2 now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Outside, and that is ball four. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Just off the inside edge. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. Well, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. There's a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. The 3-1. That clips the corner. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Solo shot for Detroit this inning. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Tarek Skubal. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Laoti Tavares. Grounded out his first time. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Torkelson makes the catch, and there's one down. The batter number two, second baseman, Marcus. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pitch inside, misses ball inside. One. Ball one. Scooble, the lefty who lights up the radar gun. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a sinker, and he occasionally uses a curve. 
The Rangers down by a pair. And we're at the top of the fifth. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. There's a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. One down, base is empty. Just okay. missed. Line drive to short and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. So now it's Corey Seager. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate, and there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Not ball, close with break. that one. One and one. The shortstop takes the ball. Swung on, belted. That's going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Nothing across here this half. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Tigers three and the Rangers one. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Cody Bradford. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. So digging in, Mark Canna. He's already homered here in this one. Mark Canna. The pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Tavares settles under it. He makes the grab. One up, one down. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Up next for the Tigers, the first baseman. So up next, Spencer Torkelson. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts? That one missed. Action in the pen down there. Andrew Heaney, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Yates, a right hander, loosening up as well. The wind of the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. Ball two. There's a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Still two and two after the foul ball. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. And downstairs. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Punch out there, 
He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting well, that W. Carpenter stands in here, takes ball one low. In there at the knees. One one now. Ball on that now. Two out spaces empty. Hey. A big swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Down in order go the Tigers. But they still lead it 3 1. All set for the top of the sixth. Now here's the Rangers DH, Evan Carter. Scooble back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Tigers bullpen with some action. Tyler Holton getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Olsen, the right-hander, also getting loose. And the 0-1. And a swing and a miss there. But this started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially oh, for a left-handed hitter to track. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. The Tigers leading by two, and we're the top half of the sixth. Next pitch is outside. Struggle a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Oh. One down, base is empty. Way Three high ball. with that one. one ball three. Lifted in the air, right field. Drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. The third baseman, number eight, Josh. And here is Josh Smith, one for two. And that's in for a strike. The lefty fires. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Not even close there. Going to count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive.
The why to kick the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Three up, three down that time. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Tigers three, and the Rangers one. And welcome back to the ballpark. The bottom of the sixth inning. The now it's the baseman. second baseman, Colt Keith. Keith. And he deals. On the outside corner, strike one. Well, these Tigers putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And that's down a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. That's hard hit in the line. Lankford snags it. One down. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the oh, runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. And next to hit for Detroit, Wenzel Perez. Ball. Ball one, no strike. And a pitch. Ball two. And a foul ball. Man at first, one away. On the ground, two ball. Over to Seeger. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We're through six full. It's the Tigers three and the Rangers one. So the Tigers get a new arm from the pen. Reese Olsen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Wyatt Langford stepping Rangers. in for the Rangers. The left fielder, Wyatt Langford. Here comes a pitch. And that's oh, off it. the inside edge. Ball one. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. One and one. The one one. Fought off foul. And the righty deals. In the center, Canna makes his way towards it. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Throws to second, but he's in there easily. Up next for the Rangers. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. And now, Jonah Heim. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. With the tying run at the plate, here in the top half of inning number seven. Right through there for a strike. No ball, two strike. Ball one there. One ball, two strikes, Miguel. Yeah. 
And another ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The tying run at the plate. Base hit into center field. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score. And now they trail by one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. No outs. Runner at first. And now the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Nope. Just oh. missed. Nobody out. Runner at first. Ground ball right side could be two. To the shortstop at second, no, but it pulls safe. him off the base. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still definitely an error, though. First and second, no outs. And now Eight. it's going to be Laoti Tavares. All ones that count. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Nobody out. And that'll fall for a base hit. Here comes the runner. Here's the throw to the plate. He'll score, and the Rangers tie the game. It's 3-all. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in. New pitcher for the Tigers, Jason Foley. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. So the batting order turns over. Marcus Simeon now at the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Right hander kicks deals. That one down that the line, down. and it's just foul. That was close. Runners on the corners, no outs. That one way inside. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One and two now. Just off the outside edge. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That one almost got him. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. The kick, the three two, and that'll one, load the bases. Perfect. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Now it's Corey Seager. Golden opportunity right here. 
Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get outs one hitter at a time. Next offering is in for a strike. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Now this is in the air down the line, and no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. One, two now. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Left-hand hitter waits. Lined, and that's a base hit. One runs in. Another comes in to score. Headed for the plate. Relay throw. Save. It's a three-run game, 6-3. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. So now the DH spot, Evan Carter, one for three. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Man at second. That one fouled off. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure, hacking up those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after him. Adolis Garcia will hit next. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And that's in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Now the 0-1. Ball one. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Perez puts it away, and there's two down. The third baseman, number eight, Josh Smith. Up next for the Rangers, Josh Smith. Yeah, there's a ball. Counts one and oh. That one finds the zone and a count one and one. Left hand batter waits. Nope. Just okay. off the outside edge. Two and one. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. That one the other way. And it goes just foul. Yeah. 
misses counts full three and two Wyatt Langford waiting to hit for the Rangers. That's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going. He's begging give me that pitch one more time a hanging change up just out in front. And the right hander deals fights it off you'll see another. Man on second, two down. Good job to fight that one off. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Right-handed reliever. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Two outs. This to third. Zips it across. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. So five runs in the inning as they bat around. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Rangers six and the Tigers three. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Kirby Yates. Now it's Javier Baez. For the Tigers. The Tigers in striking shot. distance, Javier. but have some work to do. Boog, it starts Javier. with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Righty delivers. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Rogers in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. There's a strike. Ball to strike. There's a swing and a miss. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And down on strikes. Two gone. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Riley Green. Swing and a miss. 1 1. Movement in the bullpen, Jose Leclerc. The closer is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Rodriguez warming up as well. Hit on, on the ground to the right side. Walsh He's takes out. it to the bag. Three up, three down, inning over. Tigers fail to make any noise and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Alex Fiedo. 
pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So digging in Wyatt Lankford the left fielder Wyatt Lankford the pitch that one hammered but pulled foul. Yo one inside oh, just down. missed. And yep, the slider just misses. And here it comes. On the ground to the left. The throw to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now, Jonah Heim. Fiedo, a 6'5 righty, 28 years old. A former first-round pick back in 2017. Ball nope. one, no strikes. That's, That's a little bit low. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. In the air to left, down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. The pitch. Lifted in the air down the left side, and it stays fair. The first baseman, number 21. Jared Walsh stepping in for the Rangers. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Foul ball. Here's the 0-2. One and ball, ball one. Two strike. Go Tigers. That Next one ball. missed. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. Well struck right field. That's back there. And gone. He leaves the yard to right, his second of the year, and they add a couple more. It's 8-3. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Look at that, pure reaction. Fastball up and in, not an easy pitch to get to, but because it was just a reflex, he didn't have time to get long with his swing. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. Going gone. Another one. Back to back homers. And they add to their lead. It's 9 3. No pressure on the next guy, but that's back to back home runs. How many are they going to hit? Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club.
A new pitcher in the game, Will Vest. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Here is Marcus Simeon. Fly ball down the line, and that drops foul. That's inside. Righty to the plate. And that's in there at the knees. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. And a one-two again. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. All over that one right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And here's Corey Seager to hit. That one misses. And it's one and oh. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. Kicks and deals. Ball three. Fires in a fastball at 95. And that one in the air center field. Canna under it. Canna makes the play. Up next to the Rangers, the designated hitter. Evan Carter. So a man aboard. So next to hit for Texas, Evan Carter. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. That one ripped. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Around third. He will score. It's 10-3. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And Garcia is out. And that is that. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And it is now 10-3. Back after this on the show. And we're back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now here is Mark Canna.
The right hander back to work. And he takes a strike. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. David Robertson appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. Haney getting loose as well. out front there as he swings through it. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball and the bottom just falls out of it. And he deals. And that's a base hit into left field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Man at first. And up next for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. That's in there. And it's 0-1. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Good eye right there. The Rangers up big in this one. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. The pitch just misses with that one. Two two now. And Play another ball. ball. And a pitch. Ah. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do it's a foul ball and you know a lot of pitchers they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter and when they've got him up against the ropes got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. I think he was sitting off speed there. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the 0 2. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Up next to the Tigers, the second baseman. Colt Keith up now for the Tigers. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Walsh makes the grab, and there's two gone. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right the there. I think he tried to do 13. a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. So first and second with two outs. Now the third baseman, Gio Urshela. And it's fouled away.
And now the 0 1. Ball one there. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. That's the third out, inning over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Through eight full, it's the Rangers 10 and the Tigers 3. Back at Comerica Park, here's the third baseman, the third Josh baseman Smith. Josh Smith. The pitch. Hey. That clips the corner. you one. one. And that one is in for a strike. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Boog, do you uh, have any now memorable hit by pitches Let's yourself? Move. Maybe Wyatt. high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. That one hit to right. Perez settles underneath it. Perez makes the grab, throw, and it gets away. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. And there's a ball. On the ground is short, could be two. The throw to second is offline. Well, an error like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if they are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. Jared Walsh stepping in the for the Rangers. To the right side, into the outfield, base hit. Coming home, fires it to the plate, it's offline, the run comes in, it's now 11-3. Picks himself up an RBI, he kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Tyler Holton. He last pitched two days ago. So one out with two aboard. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch, not close. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Traffic on the bases with one already in here at the top of the ninth. Breaking ball inside. Two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And here it comes. Yeah, the two one hammered but foul.
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Runners at first and second with one gone. Out to short. Nice stop from his backside. Fires. Over to second. On the first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Off the mark there. One and oh. Snap throw to first. And he's back in easily. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count even at one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Shelby Miller getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Corners are occupied with two down. Back to the mound. Oh, he gloves it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. The so two down. Now it's the shortstop, Corey Seager. First oh, offering, and it just misses. pitch that smash towards center he's got it and that'll end the inning they put two on the board on two base hits an error but two are left stranded bottom part of the order seven eight nine two up in inning number nine it's the Rangers 12 and the Tigers three back here in Detroit here and here is Tigers. Wenzel Perez the right fielder. Wenzel. Hooray. Here comes a pitch. That Aye. one finds the corner. Strike one. Way high. One, ball, one strike. Right-handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty delivers. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And the right hander deals. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And the righty deals. And two that's down it away. The 2-2. Two -two. Wouldn't chase that time. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches Leading and earned a walk. For the Tigers. So a man aboard. And next up Javier. for the Tigers, Javier Baez. Javier. Struck out on just three pitches last time. 
That pitch in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Right hander kicks deals. Whoa, the shortstop down. takes the ball. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses, and now just two outs away. He's two outs away. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. A strikeout and a walk. Just missed. Counts one and oh. Kicks and fires. 2 0. 2 0 count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Kicks and deals. This one in the air, right field. And that is a foul ball. The Rangers up big in this one. They're the last half of inning number nine. The pitch that misses the zone and it's a full count and he walked him he's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this but he's gonna have to buckle down right here And a foul ball. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. Two on, one out. That one off the mark. Now one and two. Go oh, to fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Left hand hitter waits. And now the count is even. And a pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Thank and you. another ball. One out. Runners at first and second. Side and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really now close pitches and somehow Bogey found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder Fair right on. there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. David Robertson comes on now. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. In the box now, no balls and a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Right. 
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now only one out remaining. Oh, well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, the tailing pitch. away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Torkelson in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Robertson is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And the crowd goes on disappointed as this one draws to a close. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter is saying, hey, I hope you all save some runs for me. I want to get a win as well.